What's up guys, we're here at Zion National Park in Utah and in this video we're going to show you all of the best viewpoints and hikes as well as things you should know before you come here. So hope you enjoy it. Zion National Park is located in the southwest corner of Utah, near the Nevada and Arizona borders. It's certainly not the biggest national park in the US, but it is one of the most popular ones. Zion Canyon is the main highlight that attracts most visitors, but there are also lesser known sections of the park that you can explore, such as East Zion, which extends beyond the Zion Mount Carmel Tunnel. There's also Kolob Canyons, which is more remote. In this video, we highlight eight awesome things to do in Zion National Park, particularly in Zion Canyon and in the East. Make sure to watch until the end because we also share three essential travel tips. Now let's dive in. We are Zach and Ina. We make helpful videos about destinations around the world so you can easily plan your own adventures. The Watchman Trail is a relatively easy hike that offers beautiful views of Springdale and the southern end of Zion National Park. The start of the trail is at Zion Canyon Visitor Center, right near the south entrance of the park. From here, the trail follows the Virgin River before winding up Watchman Mountain. The total length is 3.3 miles or 5.3 kilometers, with 630 feet or 192 meters of elevation gain. As the trail isn't located in Zion Canyon, you don't need to take a shuttle to the trailhead. There is parking at the visitor center, though it does fill up quickly. So it's best to come early or later in the day. So when you get to the top of the plateau of the Watchman hike, you actually come to a cool loop trail. And you should definitely go to the very end of the point because you have a great view uh, looking down the valley. The Zion Mount Carmel Highway runs through the park from the south entrance to the east. The road first climbs up the mountainside, providing some spectacular valley views. Then it passes through a narrow tunnel. Keep in mind that the tunnel is not wide enough for RVs to pass. And if you do drive one, you'll have to pay a fee for holding back the traffic so that you can pass on your own. After exiting the tunnel, the landscape changes drastically to rolling mountains of orange and cream colors with pine trees scattered around. There are many viewpoints along this road and you can stop at any of the roadside pullouts to take in the unique views. The most popular hike in East Zion is undoubtedly the Canyon Overlook. A one mile or 1.6 kilometer rocky trail takes you to one of the best viewpoints overlooking Zion Canyon. Since it's such a short distance, it's a great one to cap off the day. We arrived at the Overlook half an hour before sunset, so the crowds had dwindled and the sky started to turn bright pink. To get to the trailhead, you have to drive through the Mount Carmel Tunnel. The parking lot is immediately past the exit of the tunnel, and if you're lucky, you can find a parking spot. If not, keep driving down the road, and you'll find an overflow parking lot, as well as several pullouts. If you want to get a closer look of the rocky landscape in Eastern Zion and have a more remote experience, we recommend hiking one of the many trails that lie beyond the Canyon Overlook. You can find a variety of short day hikes via the All Trails app. We walked the Many Pools Trail, a 2.2 mile or 3.7 kilometer out and back route with 545 feet 
or 166 meters of elevation gain. This trek follows a wash and has many small pools along the way. Once we pass through the tunnel, you will see a lot of wildlife. We actually encountered a few ourselves already on the Many Pools Trail. For another jaw-dropping view of Zion Canyon, you have to hike to Observation Point. The easiest way to get here is via the East Mesa Trail, which is located just outside of Zion National Park, but near the east entrance. Round trip, the hike is 7 miles, or 11.3 kilometers, with minimal elevation change. Alternatively, you can also access this point via Stave Springs, which makes it a more challenging hike. The panorama from the top is out of this world. As we mentioned earlier, the most dramatic and popular section of Zion National Park is Zion Canyon. This part of the park has one in and out road that runs along the entire canyon floor. But during most of the year, this road can only be accessed via shuttle bus. The scenic drive takes you to some of the most famous sites of the park, including the narrows at the end of the road. You can hop on and off at the scenic sites and hiking trails along the way. One of the most popular trails in Zion Canyon is to the Emerald Pools. The most common way to hike there is via the Zion Lodge. From here, the trail starts off easy and passes a waterfall and the lower Emerald Pools. Then there's a bit of elevation gain to get to the middle and upper Emerald Pools. It's also possible to access this route via the Cayenta Trail and Grotto Trail, which both leave from the Grotto Shuttle Stop. Finally, the most thrilling hike in Zion Canyon is the Angel's Landing Trail. Starting from the Grotto Shuttle Stop, you first follow the West Rim Trail until you reach Scout Lookout. From here, you scale Angel's Landing, a narrow ridge high above the valley floor. There are chains scattered throughout this section of the hike to assist with rock scrambling. This part is not for the faint of heart. From the top, you'll be rewarded with panoramic views of the valley floor. The trail is about five miles or eight kilometers in distance with an elevation gain of 1,630 feet or 497 meters. Check out our Angel's Landing video to get a full hiking overview. As we promised at the beginning of the video, we'll now share three essential things to know before you go. First, Zion National Park has four entrances. The main entrance is through Springdale, and this is where you access Zion Canyon from. But you can also access the canyon via the east on the Zion Mount Carmel Road. Kolob Canyons and Kolob Terrace Road are two separate sections of the park, and they don't connect to the canyon. The best place to stay is undoubtedly Springdale or at the campground inside the park. The town of Hurricane is a cheaper alternative 
and is only a 30 minute drive to the south entrance. Find links to accommodation options in the description below the video. Second, the shuttle service operates for most of the year and leaves every five to 10 minutes from the visitor center. You don't need a permit or reservation to ride the park shuttle. However, keep in mind that there might be a line to get on. Find more details about the operating hours via the park website. We left a link for that in the description as well. Third, check the park's current conditions before you start the day. There are often rock falls or flash flood warnings in place, which might mean that certain trails are closed. When we were there, the Narrows Trail was closed due to high water. Also make sure to check for permits and reservations, as rules seem to change year by year. If you're planning your Zion National Park trip, we recommend keeping things organized with our interactive travel planner. Find a discount code in the description below. We also included other important links in the description that will help you with your trip, such as an interactive map to get to each place that we mentioned. We'll catch you on the next adventure.